Welcome back, my people, to Critics News with more updates on Asitek they go. If you have not followed us on the social media handles, what are you waiting for? We are on Instagram, Twitter, and on Facebook. So let's quickly go straight to the reason why we are here. I told you guys earlier that high-profile Igbo leaders that we are locked out of court um, during Mazen Namdekano's last trial um, has been um, in Asorok having an indoor meeting with the Opon Konyanogro of uh, Nigeria, which is the President Muhammad Humbuare, that have many types. <laughs> and as we speak now, they say that uh, the President is considering, uh, um, I mean, releasing Mazen Namdekano. I say, hmm. This one that we are, you have not seen it. Let me make it big so you guys can see what I'm talking about here. They say Buari hosts Igbo leaders promises to consider Namdekano's release. I say, okay, oh, come no kwa. This up on come. Hmm. You better go and release that man before I change my mind though, because I've been uh -huh. you say I will consider your demand for Namdekano's release, President Buari tells Igbo leaders. I say, okay, oh. yeah, what you can hear since he's telling Igbo leaders. Igbo leaders. Igbo leaders that the president does not have respect for. People visited the court to hear what you people were going to, you know, uh, um, to do on that very day. But you, you locked them out. Now you are, you are telling us, <laughs> you are telling us that we should come down or that you are going to uh, um, release him. Although Mazenam the Kano should be released unconditionally. But I doubt this up onko because the way they are handling this case of Mazenam the Kano. May not be say uh, uh, they anything they, they do anything shaggy shaggy shaggy. Or oh, na fake hoop because some of these things are the things that they are using to deceive our people. And some of us hey, release how many release your line now. Just wait, just just start counting down at the end of the day. What we we'll hear next now is uh, Namdekano in critical condition cries out for help. And the Oponko has not released him yet. So I think that these Igbo leaders who are going there to engage him should talk to him properly. He has ear problems. He has ears problems. Not just one problem. There are many things. Ayas asiana brain, the bear and yana, the eardrum. So his eardrums are not functioning well. So they should talk to him. If it is to bring megaphone, you call him, he opens the ear, then you put it there. Free Mazen Nam de Kano. With that, he will hear something quickly. Now let me look at the details and know um, how far they have gone and what they say is uh, what they are going to do concerning the release of uh, Maze. Nam de Kano. Now, they say President Buhari has said that he will consider the request of Igbo leaders to free the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Nam de Kano, while receiving some Southeast leaders in the State House today, November 19th. President Buhari said the call for the unconditional release of Kano runs contrary to the doctrine of a separation of powers between. Uh, the executive and the judiciary okay so and they responding to the demand which was made by the group under the ages of highly respected Igbo great and led by first republic uh, uh, parliamentarian and minister of aviation chief Mbazilike Amechi the president said mo ya within the president talk <laughs> He said, you've made an extremely difficult demand on me as a leader of this country. What are you leading? You are leading the country to poverty and chaos and destruction. You have led Nigeria to destruction. Under your administration, the video is begging money. Under your administration, the video is begging money. In fact, all our celebrities now are beggars. You have turned all of them to beggars. Gesem Lobohoma, you are leading. Which who, who gave you leader, this man? Who gave you the original Buare that we know is not in stock now? That one is out of stock. We, they don't collect and finish. This one now, you are claiming leader. Let me even repeat again. He said that you've made an extremely difficult demand on me as, uh, as a leader of this failed country. Yeah, you have to fail, add failed, failed country here to complete the sentence. The implication of your request is very serious. 
in the last six years since I became the president, nobody would say I have confronted or interfered in the work of Judy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Did you hear that lie? That Muhammad is living in them. He said, uh, um, since nobody would say that I have confronted or interfered in the work of the judiciary. And I was, I was like, who asked that question? Nobody asked him. Oh, you see, guilty conscience is judging him. And he's saying that since he became the president of Nigeria, that he has never even talked to the judges talk to anybody that they are just doing their things and this is not the question nobody asked him somebody who is using dss so who sent dss people to go and invade uh, uh, um, a justice or this residence in abuja nami sent nami sent those people who invade justice or this residence i'm the one who sent them yeah now run now on a day so far so rock there on a one run he said he has not touched anything no he said god has paid you and giving you a clear head at this age with very sharp memory with very sharp memory but you you stopped them from entering the court to hear the proceedings and you are you are here deceiving them a lot of people half of your age are confused already and you also the president you are also confused don't forget but the demand you made is heavy i will consider it better go and open that cell let him come out quickly before i change my mind Stressing his policy uh, of uh, non-interference with the judiciary, President Buhari said when Kano jumped bail, got arrested and was brought back to the country. I said the best thing was to subject him to the system. Let him, miss, make, let him make his case, case in court instead of giving uh, very negative impressions of the country from outside. Since you don't want him to make can't you people put light? If these people were sensible, if the government of Nigeria were sensible, what is Nam the Kano's problem? Nam the Kano's problem is no light, no road, no schools, no hospitals, no uh, um, seaport in the southeast, no single seaport in that whole of the of southeast. Not even refineries. You carry your oil to UK and they loot it. They, 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 they chaff. They send it back to the country. So if you pour it in your, in your vehicle or your Okada or your generator, it will uh, um, evaporate. That is what UK is doing, doing to us. That is what UK, United Kingdom, Boris Johnson and Queen Elizabeth, this is what you people are doing to us, black people. You are just killing us with style. I don't know the... Yeah, we always say God. I don't know when he's going to start his own action to visit all the evil people around this world to start giving them severe punishment. He said, I feel it's even a favor to give him that opportunity. This is what Obonku is giving you. He's telling us. Telling you that sleeping on mat is better than mattress. <laughs> Uh, the president condoled with Chief Amechi, who recently buried his wife, praying that her soul would rest in peace. <laughs> Nana, they pray for if, if the woman were to go to somewhere else, he never reached where they go. <laughs> Nana, they pray for the woman. Why didn't you pay, pay her a courtesy visit or this thing? Because the man is not a billionaire or a looter or a former governor or a former president who, who looted billions. Yeah, yeah, they smell. The, the non the no no Nigerian had described the situation in the southeast as painful and pathetic, lamenting that business have collapsed, education is crumbling, and there is fear everywhere. Tell me in the north if there is no fear. Is the education in the north functioning? So it is only in southeast. All of on a eye open like this. On a they look southeast. Oh, Igbo people, my only ramad person, my cripple. Um, lame, dumb, fool, all of them are looking at like Igbo people, Igbo land. I wonder if this can Igbo land, what is, what is, what is the, in this Igbo land that won't let you people uh, allow us to live our life? What is in this Igbo land? And the another thing, nah, nah, 
they went and brought Uncle Ahonhoju. Puka tai pui de la son libo. Anani bububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububububub the old eastern region is not the same with the current eastern region. That is the statement from Pa Edwin Clark. And I read meaning to that statement on daily basis. So we also, Mazenam the Kanu, should also read meaning into that to understand. The last time I listened to the um, Directorate of State, they made a statement. They say that the people who we are hired, you see, because some people were angry. Ah, you supported DOS for canceling the Anambra election. Yes, I had, I have my reasons. He said that they brought in people from that region to come and destabilize the Anambra state, if they were to hold on to their own um, argument that the election wouldn't have hold, or people should sit at home and they will try to enforce it. That they brought our. Uh, immediate brothers, those uh, Niger Delta people, to come and destabilize things. DOS said so. If you if you didn't hear well, go back to the last broadcast because I premiered it on this very channel. So I know what is going on. But I won't dare. Kagara Bukata say, oh, oh, oh. Aymanu Kanye Hakambongo Kumno. He pleaded for a political rather than military solution, requesting that if Kano was released to him, as the only first republic minister still alive okay he would no longer say the things he had been saying stressing that he could control him not because i have anything to do with them which is ipob but i am highly respected in Igbo land today chief Amechi said twice he had interfaced with Nam de Kano in the past and the letter rescinded orders earlier given on civil disobedience I don't want to leave this planet without peace returning to my country. I believe in one big united Nigeria. Lori Ro, I don't believe in that too. <laughs> hey, I, um, I don't believe in one big uh, uh, failed Nigeria. He said, a force in Africa, Mr. President, I want you to be remembered as a person who saw Nigeria burning and you quenched the fire. For we are other people in the visiting delegation where His Excellency Chukwemeka Ezife, who was recently disgraced by the field of Bonko in Asorok, former governor of Anambra State, Bishop Sunday Onwaha of the Methodist Church, Chief Barrister Godi Owazurike, former president of Igbo Social Cultural Group, Akai Kinga, and Mr. Tabu Mbazulike Amechi. These are the delegates who visited the Oponko in Asorok and then uh, um, now, I want to make something clear here that as it is now, visiting uh, the president or telling him that uh, people will no longer talk about Biafra, it is very, very hard. It is very, to quench that part, it is very, very hard because all the people who have been killed, um, the, the number is SS. The number is SS. Even though NSAS came and went, people are still languishing in prisons today, today, today. Because of the answers that has been kind of, let's say, they resolved. Even though the video went and knelt that they should free all the detainees. But today, people are still languishing in prison due to answers. So is that the country that you are promising that uh, people will no longer talk about Biafra? Biafra is an imbute. It's, a, it's in the panel. It's in the panel of the body. So it doesn't matter what you do. If you kill everybody in Igbo land, the, the ground will start jumping. Biafra, Biafra, Biafra. I don't know why it is like this, but this, that's why they say it's an ideology. So you can't kill it. If you like, jump up from your plane no, that you are, they are using to carry you up and down as the president of the country, you will still land at the same spot. Biafra will come. Biafra will come, but it's just that uh, the way... They are handling it is the reason why Biafra is still taking long to come. It is not well managed, believe it or not. Let me tell you so. Let me play you uh, one of the videos that shows that Biafra must come. And it doesn't matter what you do. Biafra self, it could still come. Maybe if you know be now, it might not be true, my mother named the Kano. But that Biafra, it must come. That is what, uh, that is what I know.
Let me tell you now, because everybody now now go they accuse God. Say that is what the Lord has said. Show us where He take up. You say oh, oh, the Lord was speaking to you. You use imagination. Your imagination will tell you something. You say the Lord was speaking to you. God gave us imagination. Gave us uh, wisdom. Oh yeah, watch. Uh huh. Follow me, dance. Uh huh. Now so. They come up from my village. Uh huh. Now so. Up from my village. Hey hey. Don't need you to come and make a village. Hey oh. Hey oh. Uh huh. Go 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 na risi ke kamne wishi ma zin nam de kano aha Yesu Eh ma na ni je Ai je we je we Eh e ku oku bi afro nye ka nye ga po o aha una don hear the song <laughs> i just say mo jolly small mo jolly small uh, with that song you, you understand eh uh-huh. so we pray for Mazen Nam de Kano. Ugolugon Donari Sike Kaine Pere Kumweke Pota in victory. Victory is assured by the grace of Elohim. That's what we are praying for. When he gave me, you come out, then you will re-strategize. Believe, believe it or not, there must be strategies that will be changed. You must re-strategize because the way you are doing it, <laughs> I didn't see it here. The full way that you are supposed to do it. And when you come out, consult us. Then I will give you our four main committee. And they will draft the map and <laughs> give to him. <laughs> so that is how it is. Now, I just make I can tell you that um, they have promised to release him. And he should be released unconditionally. Not uh, telling him not to talk about Biafra. It's, it's an imbute. It's in his panel. It's in the blood. So it cannot be changed. Even we now, now say the thing, they are our blood. Even if today they say no talk about Biafra again, we keep quiet. The thing is still inside. Maybe tom 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 tom. Uh-huh. Let me know what you say, think about it. And I'll see you guys on the next update. Thank you.